The end of the academic year is a time of excitement, of anticipation, of celebration. As the spring 2020 semester draws to a close at East Tennessee State University, things look somewhat different. It is certainly not what one would expect on a campus that is home to over 14,000 students and more than 2,800 faculty and staff, all part of the ETSU family. Classrooms, research labs, and faculty offices are empty. A quietness extends across the residence halls. Vacant parking lots reflect a spring semester that has been like no other. But ETSU has never been a place just about buildings or facilities. We are an institution dedicated to improving the life for the people of this region and to helping students achieve the ultimate dream of earning a college degree. Though we have faced challenges during these recent days of uncertainty, that commitment to our students and to this region has remained ever strong. This season, we stand together with all the pomp and circumstance to salute the class of 2020 as they reach the end of a transformational journey. We congratulate them on their accomplishments, the milestones that have been surpassed, and on the dreams that have been realized. We say thank you to the people, the faculty and staff, the parents, the loved ones, and the friends who have made this journey possible for others. And we celebrate all of the possibilities the future will bring. Members of the Class of 2020, it is my honor to bring you greetings on behalf of the ETSU Board of Trustees. You have made one of the greatest investments in life one can ever make, the investment in education. An investment that will yield benefits for the rest of your life and for the lives of others. Commencement Day on a university campus is like no other event in America. It is an occasion when we gather to honor achievement, to strengthen bonds of friendship and kindship, and to celebrate the destinations ahead. Remember this day cherish it. Embrace what it symbolizes. The education you have received here will shape your life and enrich your life beyond anything you could have predicted. The members of the ETSU Board of Trustees are proud of you, your families, your friends, everyone who has had a part in your success. Whatever you go in life, take the name of ETSU with you proudly. Thank you and best wishes.
Today, we come together from across the state and across the world to celebrate both an ending and a beginning, the culmination of years of work by the students who are graduating today and the promise for a better future because of their achievements. This ceremony also celebrates the efforts of family members and friends, as well as university faculty and staff who have been a part of the journey for the class of 2020. I welcome all of you for this unconventional but important occasion as we confer these degrees as a symbol of the academic and personal achievement of these students. Today, a total of 2,247 degrees will be conferred. Honors graduates receive medallions on special colored ribbons to note their distinction. Of the baccalaureate degree recipients, 200 have attained cum laude distinction for achieving a GPA of 3.50 to 3.64. 319 are magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.65 to 3.84. And 312 attained summa cum laude, the highest honors, with a GPA of 3.85 to 4.0. Of our summa cum laude graduates, 58 have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average. This spring, ETSU announced the launching of the 1911 Society, an initiative that honors the university's most notable graduates from undergraduate, graduate, and professional programs. Commemorating the year this institution was established, the 1911 Society recognizes students who have distinguished themselves among all graduates for academic excellence, service, and leadership. Today, we have the honor of presenting the inaugural members of the 1911 Society. Sarah Hamilton, Alexis Harvey, Gabriel Johnson, Shannon Ketchum, Brianna McCoy, Margaret Jean Smith Miller, Taylor Osborne, Amir Sheikh, John Sterrett, Raina Wiseman. Again, congratulations to our inaugural members of the 1911 Society. Earlier this week, nine seniors were commissioned as second lieutenants in the United States Army during a special ceremony. Beyond the academic programs of study, these lieutenants have pursued a very demanding program of leadership development and physical training that has prepared them to one day lead our nation's sons and daughters as military officers. We are particularly proud of our Reserved Officer Training Corps, the ROTC program here at ETSU, and our cadets' commitment to service and leadership. Graduating today, we have John Davis, Second Lieutenant, Ordnance, United States Army, Active Duty. Jonathan Delosier, Second Lieutenant, Infantry, United States Army, active duty. Samuel Grooms, Second Lieutenant, Corps of Engineers, United States Army, Tennessee National Guard. Lucas Hackelman, Second Lieutenant, Adjutant General, United States Army, Kentucky National Guard. Alexander Giotto, Second Lieutenant, Field Artillery, United States Army, active duty. Brian Miller, Second Lieutenant, Field Artillery, United States Army, Tennessee National Guard. Adam Stafford, Second Lieutenant, Armor, United States Army, Active Duty. Braden Trent, Second Lieutenant, Infantry, United States Army, Active Duty. Micah Wheeler, Second Lieutenant, Infantry, United States Army, Active Duty. As we celebrate the accomplishments of our students graduating today, we would also like to take a look back to celebrate the class of 1970, which has reached a commemorative milestone. Today, we induct the members of the class of 1970 into the Golden 50 Society. For decades, these individuals have been a part of the ETSU family, 
and we thank them for their service and congratulate them on becoming part of the Golden Fifties. Congratulations, class of 2020. Governor Bill Lee here saying, while your celebration this year may be a little bit different than they have in years past, uh, embrace that moment because you are a unique class yourself. Uh, you certainly have accomplished much to get yourself into the position that you're in now. Hard work, commitment, uh, lots of effort, and we congratulate you and thank you for all that you've done. The Lord has a great plan for your life ahead. We look forward to watching that play out. Embrace this moment, congratulations. On behalf of the 14,600 students and 2,800 faculty and staff who call East Tennessee State University home, it is my pleasure to bring greetings from the entire ETSU family and extend congratulations to you, the members of the class of 2020. Graduates, today is your day. Today is your day. Each of you entered our university full of hopes, dreams, and aspirations, yet with some degree of trepidation about the journey that awaited you. Today you began another journey as you move from this place of educational exploration and personal development and move into the workforce or on to graduate school. Commencement is a time for renewal and reflection, a chance to look back at what has been, and a time to envision the future. It's also a bittersweet moment in the life of our campus as we acknowledge our pride in your accomplishments, but feel a sense of loss knowing that you've moved away from our classrooms, our residence halls, research labs, and fields of play. That sense of loss is further magnified by the COVID-19 outbreak, which has taken away our ability to celebrate, to share memories, and to formally say goodbye. However, nothing can take away the pride that we all have in your accomplishments. I'm proud of our graduates who are the first in their families to receive college degrees. I'm proud of our non-traditional students who've worked multiple jobs, balanced family commitments, yet persevered on their path to a degree. I'm proud of our graduate and professional students who have realized milestone academic accomplishments. And I'm proud of our employees at ETSU who have completed their degrees while working to help others realize their dreams. Several weeks ago, I filmed a video in which I encouraged members of our community to write thank you notes to individuals who shaped their journeys at ETSU. Graduates, I encourage you to do likewise today. I encourage you to take time to acknowledge our faculty, our staff, or family members who played a role in shaping both your dreams and your future. Take a moment to say thanks, but do it in an old fashioned way. Don't send a simple text or an email, but write a real thank you note. I promise you that your expression of gratitude will mean more to the recipient than words can express. As you're well aware, our faculty and staff have opened your mind to new ideas and philosophies that will serve you well as citizens of our social democracy. In the years to come, you will realize that they are the ones who have left marks on your consciousness that will never be forgotten. As we look back 10, 20, or 50 years from now on the events of 2020, I'm hopeful that we will find moments of inspiration in these unprecedented times. We live in a world that is overwhelmed by a sense of fear, of unknown, and of uncertainty. But I hope that for the next few minutes you can put away your phones, step back from social media, and enjoy the certainty of this moment. Enjoy the feeling of dreams realized. Appreciate the joy of achieving what at times seemed impossible. Cherish this moment and then say thank you to those who helped to make it possible. One of my favorite commencement traditions is the performance of A Light of a Clear Blue Morning 
by our music department. That song, performed a cappella, always brings tears to my eyes. Today, we have the unique opportunity to hear from the person who made that song famous. This morning's special guest grew up down the road from our campus in Sevierville, Tennessee, and has brought joy to countless generations of Tennesseans. It is my pleasure to welcome to this morning's commencement activities here at East Tennessee State University, Ms. Dolly Parton. Well, hey there, class of 2020, it's me, Dolly. First, let me say that I'm sorry that we're not together in person on this special day. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being in the house. And I'm really sorry that your special day of celebration has to be on video. But each of you have a lot to be grateful for and to be proud of. You've achieved a very important milestone in your life, and every one of you have a great future. Well, let's get through this pandemic, and we're going to be better than ever once we get this in our rearview mirror. That's the thing about life, though. You'll have great times, and you'll also have some challenges. Just try to make the best out of it. Make it work. Work hard and help people and everything else around you as best you can, and this will all take care of itself. So do like I do. In the meantime, follow your dreams. Oh, and thank you for letting me take part in your special day. And take that East Tennessee Buccaneer spirit with you, class of 2020. And don't forget to come see us when we're all back in business. I'll be looking for you. It's been a long, dark night. I've been Thank you. 
Greetings. I'm Randy Wyckoff, the Dean of the College of Public Health at East Tennessee State University. And on behalf of the 81 faculty and staff of the college, let me congratulate you on your achievement. ETSU has been offering public health degrees for over 60 years, yet in all that time, well over 100 graduating classes, you are unique. You're unique, in fact, in two ways. First of all, you're unique because we are not all together in person. And I really regret that, but this virtual commencement is something that you will remember your entire lifetime. The second reason that you're unique is that for the first time in over 60 years, no graduate of the college is going to have to explain to their family and friends what public health is, nor why the fields that you're going into are so important. Everybody will know. COVID-19 has put public health at the forefront of people's thinking, probably more so than any event in our country since the polio epidemics of the 1950s, or perhaps even the Spanish flu a century ago. But there's another lesson from COVID-19 that is more important to you than it is to your family and friends. This pandemic should have convinced you that if you want to be an effective public health practitioner, a health administrator, an environmental scientist, or a physician, or a nurse, or any other health field, it will be absolutely essential that you have a true commitment to lifelong learning. When I graduated from public health and medical school almost 40 years ago, we didn't learn about COVID-19 because it didn't exist. We didn't learn about AIDS or SARS or hepatitis C. No one had heard of neonatal abstinence syndrome. There were no CT scans or MRIs. Entire classes of drugs have been developed since then. The same will be true in your professional lifetime. What we have taught you isn't everything that you need to know. What we have taught you is the foundation upon which you can build your knowledge. I'm confident that you have a good foundation, and I'm also confident in you. I know that you will be successful, and I wish for you the very best for the future. I say that not just because I want you to be successful, obviously we all do. I say that not just because you will become an alumni and everything you do will reflect on us. And that's important too. I say it more importantly because today we are not giving you a diploma. We are giving you a profession. I am entrusting to you, each of you the profession that I have enjoyed for over 40 years, a profession that is now at the forefront of the public's mind, a profession that will protect future generations from pandemics, a profession that will change lives by changing behaviors, a profession that will explore the science of health and find new cures for new diseases, a profession that will ultimately affect the lives of everyone in our country and everyone around the world. Do well, be successful, and please always stay in touch. Best wishes and go Bucks. You have worked hard to make it to this point in your life. Now it is time to go out and make a difference in the world. You're still part of the ETSU family, so please stay in touch, share your accomplishments with us, and we're here to help you if you need help. Thank you so much for sticking with it, for showing that fortitude and resolve. It's a buccaneer spirit and uh, we're so proud of you and, and uh, I'm excited to see what you accomplish in your careers. Today represents your triumph. You've picked up some accolades along the way. You fulfilled honors requirements, played sports and music, volunteered and shattered for hours and hours, worked full time and persevered through personal and academic adversity. We know that this is just one step on your path to success. Thank you for allowing us to walk that path with you, even if it was just for a short while and being part of your journey. I feel honored to have shared this time at ETSU with you. And as you prepare for the next journey, I wish you the best of luck. We can't wait to see where life takes you next. And we know that you will achieve great things. Congrats. As is tradition at ETSU, the first degrees conferred today will be to those students who have successfully completed doctorate, education specialist, or master's degrees. Investing in graduate education has and will continue to change your life and the lives of your families. Beyond the individual, graduate education contributes to the greater public good. What you have learned as a graduate student will support teaching, research, and advanced practice in the broad disciplines of humanities and arts, social and natural sciences, business and technology, education and healthcare. 
People outside of higher education may wonder about the value of research and scholarship, and maybe you've had to explain to your family and friends what your graduate research has been about. The scholarly and research enterprise involves many small steps where we develop new knowledge and apply it to different situations and variables, building on past work and paving the way for further advancement and application. Over the past few weeks, I have read your theses and dissertations, and I'm extraordinarily proud of the research that you have undertaken. Research on the circadian patterns of cave spiders that can inform future developments for the sight impaired, the connection of drug abuse to early schizophrenia, an investigation of athletic coaches' creative problem-solving skills to improve team success, research to thwart cyber threats, and research to improve public health, post-operative, and drug abuse outcomes. Some of this research has been focused on this region specifically, such as the Tipton Haynes Historic Site, art in the haulers, Appalachian poets, the impact of storms on E. coli contamination in the Sinking Creek watershed, and research with local school districts aimed at improving learning outcomes for our children. With your graduate degree, you are poised to face the challenges and solve the problems of a rapidly changing world where we need smart, capable, engaged citizens with advanced skills. Over two decades ago, I graduated from ETSU with my master's degree and left to pursue a PhD. Two years ago, I was fortunate to return home to these mountains and this university because I know firsthand how important an ETSU graduate degree can be. I'm proud of my ETSU graduate degree, as I know you will be. I wish that we could be together today so that I could hand you your diploma. On behalf of the staff of the School of Graduate Studies and the entire graduate faculty, I send you heartfelt congratulations and wish you great success in all that you do in the future. Go Bucks! At this time, I want to recognize those candidates who will receive the doctoral degree for the conferring of the degree. President Nolan, the doctoral candidates have completed all requirements for these doctoral degrees. On behalf of the graduate faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the doctorate degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. The College of Public Health, Doctoral Degrees. Lee Carter Florence, hooded by Dr. Deborah Slauson. Joseph Cousy, hooded by Dr. Kurt Meyer. Ogbibor Enaholo Omoike, hooded by Dr. Deborah Slauson. Samuel Charles Pettyjohn, hooded by Dr. Rob Pack. At this time, I want to recognize those graduates who will receive the master's degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for the master's degree in the School of Graduate Studies. On behalf of the graduate faculty of the university, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the master's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Master's Degrees Caitlin Taylor Anderson Adiola Olubukola Awujula Jessica Rianne Barbie Matthew Logan Barrett Matthew Edward Beer Kanta Vituwal Michaela Bowers Charles Del John Carr Denise Alexander Chavez Reyes. 
Phoebe Shoemaker Curd. Maisha Voshe Devris. Heather Lynn DeBold. Corey Aaron Dillard. Amber R. Dotson. Kelsey Renee Frazier. Tanya Pauline Gibbs. Hannah Margaret Henson. Carrie Lynn Hodges. Trinity Kiara Holden. Lauren Elizabeth Hooper. Summer Lee Jackson. Jamie Allison Kent. Ha Huang Lin. Kiara Shanice Long. Tyler Cody Melton. Margaret Jean Miller. Morboni Tosin Mokikan. Morgan Lynn Monroe. Carl Joseph Oberfeitinger. Olufe Yisheo Opeyemi Odabumi. Busirior Adeyeme Honotolu. Vincent Andre Florin Pinckney. Miranda Beth Rorick. Tori Shea Rucker. Aaron Joseph Salwan. Bridget Seelinger. Braden Chase Sexton. Griffin Benjamin Shoemaker. Danielle Alexandria Smith. Patrick Olumuyiwa Shodeki. Aaliyah M. Spaulding. Sarah Ellen Tolliver. Morgan L. Wilkins. Delaney Harper Williams. J. N. Jory Alaya Yusuf. At this time, I want to recognize those graduates who will receive the baccalaureate degree. President Nolan, these candidates have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend you confer the appropriate degree. By the authority vested in me by the East Tennessee State University Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I now confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, amenities, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Baccalaureate Degrees Fawaz Ayad al Muhammadi, Abdullah Khalif M. Alonaizi, Taylor Leona Banks, Karim M. Baptiste, Isabella Cheyenne Bledsoe, Michaela Angeline Thomasana Boatman, Morgan May Bowser, Lauren Sage Brannan, Blair Elizabeth Brooks, Lilith Chun Yu Bulawa, Christina Renee Bird, Joseph Franklin Campobasso, Kayla Ann Carter, Shelby Brianna Casaus, Jared Lee Castile, Danielle Joyanne Cates, Nikki Rakesh Chaudhry, Matthew Alexander Cornett, Sanjeev Kumar Das, Justin Collier Deal, Mariah Ashley Dodge, Demetra Dranus, Devin E. A. Egan, 
Shannon Danielle Elliott, Heather Renee Ellis, Dylan Marshall Fields, Sophia Ann Fletterman, Dana Alexis Paco Flores, Wydedra Alexis Foster, Catherine Olivia Fouch, Samantha Taylor Fox, Andrew Alexander Fuquay, Blakely Denise Griffin, Kina Alize Hammonds, Valerie Adele Haney, William C. Hallbrook, Casey Marie Hawkins, Joseph T. Hedrick, Destiny Joy Hill, Kinley Joe Hillard, Maggie Olivia Van Holmes, Brianna R. Hughes, Savannah Faith Hudson, Tyler Nati Indranoy, Aliza Ishrut, Caitlin S. James, Seth Michael Jewett, Allie Beth Johnson, Hannah Brene Jones, Olivia Grace Callstrom, Jaiman Maheshbhai Kapadia, Dylan Matthew Kenkel, Cody Wayne Kearns, Holly Leanna Kizia, Jordan Daniel Knight, Jessica Michelle Lambert, Delaney Brooke Lawson, Janet Elizabeth Leonard, Christy Michelle Mathis, Alex David Mauger, Brianna Lynn McCoy, Jordan Philip Metcalf, Brian Miller, Savannah Gail Mishanya, Morgan Ann Murray, Mindy Lee Neese, Alexa Brooke Nelson, Obena Emmanuel Ononye, Colby Jordan Osborne, Miranda Taylor Pardue, Ami Anil Patel, Elaine Jirish Patel, Neil Yogeshpai Patel, Parangi I Patel, Rima Jayantibai Patel, Ruchi Ramesh Patel, T. T. Patel, Rebecca McKinley Patton, Kristen Elizabeth Perales, Caleb Chance Porter, Chase Anthony Price, Garrett Nathaniel Reynolds, Daniel Earl Ridlin, Andrew J. Robbins, Lanny Jacqueline Rogers, Morgan Elizabeth Rogers, Callie Leah Root, Victoria A. Sage, Jonathan Allen Scott, Kyla Ann Scott, Michaela Morgan Scott, Pujan Mayur Shah, Amir Ali Jakir Hussein Sheikh, Zamir Ali Jakir Hussein Sheikh. Nasheen Ara Siddiqui, Sharon K. Smith, 
Esmond Dermont Sparks, Jr. Sarah Abigail Stansel. Kayla Danielle Stewart. Emily Nicole Stoltzfus. Abigail Lizette Suarez. Yvette Dawn Talford. Heather Chalmay Valley. Samantha Ray White. Madeline Claire Whitlock. Haley Lynn Williams. Alyssa A. Weiniger. Graduates, I have a special message for each of you that you will receive in your email later today. I wish that I could have shaken each of your hands today, but I hope that you will enjoy this personal message and that you'll come back to our campus in December and walk across the stage as we physically celebrate your accomplishments together. East Tennessee State University was founded in 1911 to improve the quality of life for the people of our region. For the past 109 years, we've remained committed to this mission. Graduates, you've spent the past four years or more as part of a distinctive community that embraces the tripartite mission of teaching, research, and service. You've participated in public service projects, made medical devices and face shields for healthcare practitioners on the front lines of the battle against COVID-19. You've raised money for those whose lives have been disrupted by job loss, addiction, or domestic violence. And you've assisted families as they've homeschooled their children as a result of the COVID-19 outbreak. In doing so, you've embraced our institutional mission. As you transition from our campus today and embark upon the next phase of your educational or professional journey, I hope that you'll take that mission of service with you. Do not forget this university and those who've shaped your life as a member of the ETSU family. Please remember that where you are and where you are going is who you will become. May today be the beginning of a wonderful journey and a life well lived with purpose, conviction, and joy. On behalf of our Board of Trustees, I offer my sincere congratulations on all that you have and will accomplish. Godspeed to each of you and go box. Go Bucks. Congratulations, Class of 2020. It's been a privilege getting to know you over these past four years. We're so excited for you and can't wait to see where you go next. Go Bucks.
Hey, class of 2020, this is Dr. Ezell, otherwise known as Coach Ezell from your women's basketball team, sending you a huge congratulations on this remarkable journey with such an incredible story to tell. Go change the world, you're prepared. Go blooded forever, go Bucks. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You all have accomplished so much and I know it's an incredibly tough time and I wish that I could be a commencement just like you celebrating all your achievements. Always remember that ETSU is home and that you should tell the story of our great institution. Cherish all the memories and the networking and connections that you've made here. We're so proud of you. Go Bucks. Hello, ETSU class of 2020. This is Brian Thompson, the air coordinator for Governor's Hall, and I want to say congratulations to you all. You all have done good things. I know you are, and God speed go Bucks. of ETSU at Kingsport faculty and staff and Kingsport Student Service Organization. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to the Spring 2020 graduating Buccaneers. Class of 2020, this is Heather Levesque here just saying congratulations. What an amazing accomplishment you just achieved. We're so proud of the success you've had here at ETSU. You have truly changed us as an institution. You've made such an impact on who we are and what we've been able to accomplish as, as a university because of your successes. I know this has been a rough time. I've thought a lot about you in the last month and how hard it must be to have your last semester of your senior year taken away from you. Uh, but just live in the memories you did have at ETSU and know how much of a difference you made and continue to come back. We need to see you on campus. We want to see you on campus. And most importantly, we need you to tell the story of being a buck and bleeding blue and gold. So congrats to you. Good luck on everything you're going to do. Go out there and change the future. Um, do it for us. Do it for Buck Nation and come back and visit. Go Buck! Student Activities and Organizations wants to say congratulations to everyone graduating. Go Bucks! Congratulations, graduates of 2020. There's one E on the logo, one ETSU family, now and forever. As the alma mater says, in the shadow of the mountain under skies of blue, there's no better way and no better day than to say congratulations to the class of 2020. 
You did it. Go Bucks. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. What an unusual and interesting year you've had, and you have done it and done it well. On behalf of the University Advisement Center, we give you our sincere congratulations and send you off into the world knowing that ETSU is still your home. Congratulations and good luck. Hey there, class of 2020. This is Don Armstrong, the Director of Student Media, and I really just wanted to say a big congratulations on your graduation. I know commencement is a little different this year, but it certainly does not diminish the accomplishment. So again, congratulations and go Bucks! Hey class of 2020, congratulations on successfully completing your academic career here at ETSU. You've done an amazing job transitioning to online courses this historical semester and we are so proud of you. Special shout out to my nephew Warren Shelton, you are awesome. I wish you the best for all of you and your futures. Come back and visit and go Bucks. Congratulations to all of the May 2020 graduates on your outstanding achievement. Wishing you the best in this new adventure of your life. Remember to chase your dreams, never stop trying, never stop learning, live your life to the fullest and give nothing but your best. And again, congratulations and go by. Congrats to our ETSU graduates. You guys are the best. Congratulations and Dadal. I'm super proud of you. I wish you the very best moving forward. Remember that gratification comes from helping others and defines your journey to success. Do well. And I want to say congratulations to all of our graduating seniors of 2020. And go Bucks! Hey Buccaneer Vets, it's Guy from Veterans Affairs. Congratulations on another mission accomplished. Remember, it's not over yet, so keep moving forward. Congratulations to our 2020 grads. Go Bucks! Congratulations to the class of 2020. Go Bucks!